I should feel bad, but I don't. I don't feel bad at all. My brother asked me what time I get off work today because he's going to come over. I'm going to get on the grill and make him some shit, but he's kind of like a kid. And he asked me what time I get off work. I said 530. Nigga, I didn't work today. I didn't go to work for one fucking minute, but I needed that. I need that space. Cause you know, motherfuckers, sometimes they ask you, Hey, what time do you get off? They feel like your off time is they start time. I'm not ready. Nigga, you gotta be motherfucking kidding me. I told you I get off work at 530. Oh, I just said five. It's still 430. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. I'm, all the charcoal got wet. I'll be right back. God damn. You know what I like about my brother? He real is a motherfucker, right? He stuck his little head outside. Said, oh, it's hot. <laughs> I'm gonna stay inside. He didn't even think about helping. He don't make you think he gonna help. <laughs> no, oh, 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 you're the one that met me, swear, several years ago that when it's hot outside, not be outside. You can remember that shit, but you can't remember that I get off work at 5 30. <laughs> what time did you leave your house? I was thinking. I mean, if you left if you left your house at 4 15 and you thought it was gonna take a half hour to get to my house, you still would have got here at 4 45. I didn't even leave work till five o'clock. Well that's what time I said I was leaving work. <laughs> Have you ever okay, okay, but now that we out here, why don't you cook the chicken? Just fucking put it on there. Let's go sizzle a little bit. We both out here. What could happen? <laughs> uh, frame. This motherfucker is so lazy. It's it's ridiculous for him to think that he could actually have to cook something. Why don't you just cook just a little bit, Tommy? I know how. You, what if I'm not around? Who cooks for you? <laughs> what if nobody's around? What if nobody's around? How do you eat? What if nobody's around? How do you eat? Sandwiches, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you 41. <laughs> uh, go ahead. You go put them shits on there. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Exactly. Hold on. Look. Look. Chef Tommy on it. <laughs> Boom. You can tell because he don't got no sleeves on. He got the grill shirt on. Boom. He got the Reebok Classics on. Boom. Putting chicken on the grill. Boom. Tommy, get down over here. Yes, even though you peppered the hell out of this. <laughs> it's just a little seasoning, nigga. It's just a little seasoning. <laughs> you gonna come to my house and complain about me peppering some chicken that you gonna eat? Uh, hold on, Tommy. Fuck him. Because Edward is talking shit about me drinking out. Nigga, Tommy, tell him I done had several full beer, <laughs> beer bottles. <laughs> beer bottles. Yes. I didn't know the shit was empty when I grabbed it, nigga. You never did that shit before? Shut up. Tell this motherfucker right, this is the only nigga in the world that ever whooped me one-on-one. -on -one. Ever. Now, nigga, I was probably... <laughs> How old was the last time you probably beat my ass? How old were you? Tell the truth. Shoot, we were kids. But how old were you when you, <laughs> when you last beat my ass? I'm not counting the WWF shit. How, was the, how old were you the last time you fucked me up? I was probably maybe what, heaven? You fucking lying! You were 16 years old. You're 16 years old, remember? And then I fucking hit you back and you called Buddy on me. Oh. <laughs> I'm absolutely not good. <laughs> I remember that shit specifically because he fucked me up, right? <laughs> and you <laughs> he was beat by he was beat my ass. He used to be a lot bigger than me. He was fucking throwing me around and shit. <laughs> And I was getting fucked up. And I finally swung back and I hit him in the nose. And his, his nose was bleeding. He called my auntie on me. <laughs> and she, she used to have this fucking gangster ass boyfriend. And he came over there and he fucked me up too. 